Medic 25, respond to Walnut Hill Park, the area of the monument. Reports of a man down, unknown if he's breathing. Medic 25, copies, responding. I've been an EMS for over eight years now, the last five as a paramedic. Over that time, I've had the opportunity to use simulation on a number of different platforms. Most recently, I had the chance to use SimMan Essential today. Of the platforms I've used, SimMan Essential is one of the best in terms of integration and EMS. It gives us the opportunity to put a very realistic simulation mannequin into a car, uh, into a house, in a field, or in the ambulance environment, and to run realistic scenarios just as we would calls in real life. We had a standard ambulance respond to the scene for a, quote, man down in the park. And it was a runner who we had in ventricular fibrillation. They were here within moments of the call. And it was an advanced EMT and a paramedic crew, which is a standard configuration for our service. They came out. They performed BLS CPR until they could perform uh, defibrillation with a monitor. And once that was performed, they were able to continue on to advanced life support following ACLS protocol. Again, only as a two-man crew, and we did specifically keep it that way as part of the scenario. As an advanced EMT on a cardiac arrest, using some essential, we were able to uh, begin CPR. We were doing cycles of CPR, I was able to ventilate the patient. I was able to um, hear agonal respirations from the patient. I was able to watch my partner intubate the patient as I assisted. We began IO access. We did um, put the patient on an auto ventilator. All things that we would do in a normal cardiac arrest scenario, just with the comfort of using SimMan and with the frequency that we like. Simian Essential is uh, very reactive to the care given and it involves both the operator and they're able to hear what they're doing, see what they're doing. Uh, it's significantly better than mannequins past. They're able to hear lung sounds in uh, all fields. They're able to get reactivity to their uh, bag valve ventilations. And uh, the airway is also very realistic. The simulation went very well today. Um, in a normal situation on the road, afterwards we would have a debriefing scenario and we learned from there and that's, that's what the SimMan is for. ran it just as we would a real call. We did an initial assessment of the patient. We started CPR right away. We went through all the skills and procedures that we would in a real scenario and put the patient onto the stretcher, took them all the way into our ambulance and then simulated driving off is to go to the hospital, just like a real call.